Okay, so in this video, we're going to look at how to make a task run automatically when you first start a database. There's a lot of reasons why you may want to do this. You may want a message to be communicated to the user. So maybe it's a greeting, maybe it's a tip of the day, maybe it's some system advisory, or maybe it's some kind of maintenance that's being run when the database first starts, or maybe you want a report to auto-generate. Whatever, there's lots of reasons why you'd want to do this. And so we're going to look at a couple different ways how to do this and a couple different uh, usages for that. And uh, as I just mentioned, one of the examples we're going to use will be a message because that's the easiest one to do. And therefore, you can see the results automatically. Since we're starting with a blank database, we really can't do any file maintenance because there's no uh, tables or anything else to have that processing being done too. So let's begin. The first method that we're going to look at is using a macro. Now, Access is hardwired to look for a macro of a specific name. If your macro has that name without any further prompting, the database will automatically run that macro. And the name is auto exec. Clearly means auto execute, but that's the key. If you name a macro auto exc, it will automatically run. So let's take a look at making that. So we're going to click on the Create tab. And then over here, you can see the Macro and Code section. We're going to click on Macro. And here, you have lots of choices. Now, what you can do, if you click on the drop-down arrow, you'll see that you can do things like Message Box. But we're not going to use that, because when you do that, you really are putting on training wheels and you don't have as much control as you may want. So even though uh, the knee-jerk re reaction says, would be, okay, I want a message box, so let's use message box, I really recommend using the code if you at all can, because it'll give you much more control. So rather than using message box, what we're going to do is we want to come down here to run code. Now it says function name, so if you create a module, you can call a function in that module, or you can actually just type the code directly in here. And that's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and type msg, and you can see message box pops up. We'll double click on that, puts an open parenthesis there. Now message box command has several arguments. And like I said, the reason why I don't want to use the prefab message box function is because it really strips away your ability to use some of those arguments. Anyways, for this first iteration, we're just going to put in the first argument, which is, of course, the actual message. So maybe it's an alert that you want people to know about when they first turn on the database. and close parenthesis. And I just clicked away. Now, the other arguments would come after the message, but like I said, uh, if you're not putting in those arguments, you can just skip them. You can't always do that with every command, but with the message box, you can. It's very customizable. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna save this, but we're just gonna have it be called macro one for now because I want to demonstrate that if you don't name it auto exc it doesn't run. So we want to click on OK. We'll close this. Now I'm going to double click on it just to make sure it really works. There's your pop-up message and that's the message of the day. Okay so now let's close the database. We'll go to access and that's the database I'm working on. And there, absolutely nothing happened. You did not get the message because there is not a macro called auto exe. So if we rename this, so I right click, rename auto exec. We'll close the database again. And we run it again. And see, you get the pop up. So it makes all the difference as to whether or not you name it that. 
Okay, so let's build on that a little bit more. Let's go back to design. So I'm just right clicking and choosing design. And what we're going to do is we're going to modify this. We're going to put in more arguments. So you just click there. And then we'll do comma zero. Basically, there are several different configurations of buttons. Each button has a number and you can say which buttons you want. So for now, we're just going to say uh, it's not that it's zero buttons. It's just zero denotes that you only have the default OK button. And if you notice, there was an OK button already, even without that. But we need to declare it now because we're going on to the next part. The next argument is uh, the title. So when we first ran this, if you didn't notice at the top, it said um, Microsoft Access. So if you put in a title, you can actually change that. So uh, there's only just so much real estate in that little message box, so why let it go to waste? So what we're going to do, and again, this has to be in quotes, just like the message. So the title will be um, I don't know, System Alert. Again, we're just testing functionality. We'll click away. We'll save that. We'll close it. I'm not going to keep uh, restarting the database. There's really no need. I just need. I just did that to demonstrate that indeed Auto EXC, uh, EXEC will run uh, automatically uh, if your macro is named that. So we'll just double click to run it. And now you can see it says System Alert Incident at Raccoon City. And then OK. So you can actually make the message be more dynamic. So you may, maybe there's going to be an outage, OK? A storm warning or something. And so you want to give like a date or a time. Well, you can do that as well. So right click, design view, and click here. So we're not going to mess with system alert, so we're not going to mess with the title. But between the quote and the comma, you can basically create a concatenated field. Uh, if you haven't, uh, if you're not familiar with that phrase, concatenate is when you combine strings and numbers together. Like, for instance, you have a field that's first name, a field that's last name, but you need to combine them because it's being printed on an envelope. You can concatenate the first name and the last name. You can turn it into a single value. So that's what we're going to do. And you use the ampersand. So and then we're going to add something. We're going to use date with print uh, with parentheses. Click away. Save that. Close it. And there you go. You now have a date there. And you can just keep building and building on that as far as what kind of information you need to put in there. So I just put in uh, one date. You could do a date range. So say, um, again, it could be a storm warning and it lasts for 24 hours or 48 hours. What you can do is you can just keep concatenating. You just put another ampersand in whatever else you want and so on and so forth. Now, uh, so that's the basics. That's how you would simply do, say, like a, um, like I said, a system alert, a greeting message of the day, that kind of thing. But there are many, many other functions that you can do with this. But that's the core ability, is that you name the macro auto exec, and that will automatically run when you start your database. And what we'll do is we'll just add one more action to this macro just so you can see that you can indeed string them together. We're going to open a form, but we need a form first. So we're just going to create a blank form just so you can see that it works. So we'll click on create. We'll click on form design and we'll just save it. So we'll click on the save icon. We'll just call it form one because again, we don't care. We just need an object to point to. So as you can see, add new action. 
and we are going to use the actual rather than using the VB code like we did here we are going to use the pre-created action because in this case it's nothing special we're just saying open the form so we're here we wanted to put in options that the predefined the pre-created action did not contain in this case we're just saying open the form so we really don't care about the specifics and that was it so in form name I just clicked on the drop down arrow the, the all the names of the forms will show up there automatically so now you have run code then you have open form we'll save that close it auto execute Gives you the message, system alert, OK, and then the form opens up. It doesn't look like much because it's blank, but you can indeed see it says form. Here's your selectors, your selectors down here. We'll just close this, open the database one last time so you can see that it is working in its entirety. Right click, auto task, and there you go. And there you go. So. That's about it for this video. So now you know how to have a macro start uh, execute automatically when you start up the database. Uh, if you want to see a specific demonstration, like if there's a certain set of functionality that you'd like to see, uh, just leave a comment, let me know, and I'll do my best to try to accommodate that request. Okay, hope this was helpful.